What's up everybody, Jesse here, and we have some interesting news. Now, I am kind of late on this, but I thought it was still worth mentioning. Nintendo is being sued. Yes, once again Nintendo has a lawsuit from a dumb company. This time Game Vice, claiming Nintendo has stolen their idea. We'll get to some of the other interesting lawsuits from the past after we cover this recent one. But first, I want to give a quick update. I'll be trying to do at least one of these news videos every single day. But don't worry, I will continue making videos like the recent top 5 cancelled Pokemon games, top 10 gaming mysteries, and of course, my Zelda theories. Now back to GameVice's dumb lawsuit. IGN says, Endgadget reports GameVice filed a lawsuit against Nintendo because the design of its latest system is too similar to the GameVice's Android gaming tablet, the Wikipad. Which, alright, already the Wikipad? If anyone's going to sue anyone, I would imagine it would be Wikipedia. Moving on, IGN says, The accessory company believes Nintendo violated a patent, and that the Switch's detectable Joy-Con controllers are too close to the game vice, and that the Switch's detachable, detectable Joy-Con controllers are too close to what game vice had in mind for its portable device. As you can tell, it features dual analog sticks, four analog buttons, and an analog D-pad. Literally the same layout every modern console controller has. GameVice is demanding Nintendo to stop selling the Switch, cover all the costs related to the lawsuit, and pay damages for infringing the patent. Neither GameVice nor Nintendo have commented on the lawsuit yet. When reached for comment, a representative for Nintendo said, We have nothing to announce on this topic. Concerning the previous lawsuits, Nintendo Life has this to say. A common occurrence in the Wii era was Nintendo being taken to court by various companies claiming that the system violated existing patents. This has happened with multiple Nintendo systems, in truth, with the 3DS also being targeted quite a few times. So, literally several different companies sued over the exact same thing, instead of trying to sue each other because they know Nintendo has the money. Anyways, Nintendo Life says Nintendo wins the majority of these cases and even on the rare occasions it loses initially, seems to have the clout to appeal and clear the cases in the end. It's inevitable that the Switch will also be targeted of litigation and it seems that GameVice is one of the first companies out of the gate. As reported by Endgadget, a lawsuit has been launched citing patent deletions. Companies wanted to sue Nintendo over the DS's original touchscreen, the 3DS's 3D technology, the Nintendo Wii's motion control, which after the success of the Wii because of its motion controls, even Sony created motion controls for its PlayStation, but PlayStation Move wasn't quite as successful as the Wii's motion control. Just recently with the rise of VR, PlayStation has even brought back some of their motion controls. As for my opinions on this, it's just stupid. Legally, yes, they can sue Nintendo. If you believe someone has stolen your idea, you can sue them if you have the patent. Technically, you don't even need the patent to sue them. The case will be thrown out, but you could literally sue someone for just looking at you. So it's whatever. GameVice probably doesn't even believe Nintendo tried to steal their idea. They probably just seen it just happened to have a similar concept, even though it is a completely different way of managing this concept, and said, hey, we might be able to get some money from this. And so the lawsuit was made. This is like if Nintendo would have sued PlayStation or Sega for coming out with a competing handheld console. I mean, if the developers of Ukulele aren't being sued by Rare for obviously capitalizing off of Banjo-Kazooie, literally building the exact same game with a different skin and then modernizing it. They even used a similar name, Banjo-Kazooie Ukulele both being based off of instruments and having two words in the title. Then we even have Mighty Number no. 9 copying Mega Man. No lawsuit there either. I honestly think these cases could be worth a lawsuit as it is clear one company tried capitalizing off of the idea of another, but that doesn't mean it would be right, or that I think they should. Just that that would make a lot more sense than this dumb Game Vise lawsuit. Then again, anything would make more sense than this. Fuck off, game buys. Let Nintendo be Nintendo and focus on great games. They don't have time to worry about this joke of a company trying to make money off of their success. 
And that's it for today's news, unless I post a video later. Be sure to check out my second channel, links for everything will be in the description, my newest unboxing video of the E-Win Racing Gaming Chair, the return of the Chamber of Sages with the top 10 mysteries in Breath of the Wild, and my top 5 cancelled Pokemon games video. Links to everything will be in the description. Thanks for watching, and feel free to give me some advice on how to improve these news videos. What's up everybody, Game Over Jesse here, and if you enjoyed this video and are into awesome nerdy geeky content like we are, consider subscribing to Geek Fuel, a monthly subscription box that is guaranteed to have over $50 worth of great stuff in every box. You'll receive an exclusive shirt, games, collectibles, and other geek-related greatness. Use the link geekfuel.com slash gameoverjesse to not only get $3 off of your subscription, but to help out our channel as well, which means more time to work on more videos for you guys. If you enjoy the videos on my channel, please consider subscribing, checking out my second channel focusing on movies and TV shows, and my Patreon, where you can join in as a guest in upcoming videos, watch new videos first, you can have me join in and collaborate on videos for your own channel, have custom artwork or custom avatars made of yourself or for your channel, and much more.